Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano with UMD. If this is your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Do not forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. One of the most useful features in After Effects timeline is the ability to take the alpha channel from one layer to determine the transparency of another layer. Just so we can understand the project we are going to build, I want you to go in the finished reference folder in the project panel and double click on the finished reference composition. If I press the space bar here, you can see I have got a background video of this text that is filled with a background video and that is done using an alpha mat. So, what I will do is I will press the spacebar to stop playback, and I will click once on the fill text with the video tab here. And this is going to reveal the fact that I have got one layer here which is my sunrise text. It is actually a layer solid that is masks applied to it the nuts, because I created a text layer one of under layer said create, and said create masks from text. This way nobody has to load any fonts onto their system, and everybody's text is going to look the same. Now with layer 1 selected if I go to the left side of the timeline and I click once on the solo button. You can see this text is over top of a black background. If I want to see the transparency. I can toggle the transparency grade here in the bottom middle section of the composition panel. So, the alpha channel for sunrise is actually inside of this text. If you ever want to see an alpha channel you can come here into the composition panel and click once on this button and choose alpha, and since I have this layer soloed, I am seeing the alpha transparency. So, whatever is white is going to allow the layer to shine through. And then whatever is black is going to be 100% transparent, allowing the background to show through. Which is what we saw with the transparency created. So, click once back on the button here and go back to RGB, and I will turn off solo. So, I want this beach layer to be inside this text. But before I do that, I also want the beach layer to have another copy on the background. So, I am going to select layer 2 and press Command D on Mac and Control D on Windows to duplicate it. And I will go ahead and just move that to the bottom of the layer stack and alternates visibility off. So, if we select our middle beach layer here, it is looking at the layer directly above to determine transparency. When I actually use what is called a track mat, so, I am going to go here to the middle section of the timeline, and I will click my toggle switches and modes button, and you may be in switches, but I want you to be in modes. And then if you come over here the rightmost track mat drop down click on that, and say I also met sunrise. It is going to look at the alpha channels a layer above and determine a transparency. So now if I turn the visibility of layer 3 on, you cannot really see the text. So, let us add some separation here. I will select it layer 2, and I will go to my effects presets, and I am just going to type, fast box, and I will drag and drop fast box blur directly onto layer 2 in the timeline like so, and I will go ahead and increase the blur radius, and that is going to help the text pop, but I also want to go ahead and have it blend with the background differently, and I can do that in a couple of different ways. The first way I will go ahead and add a little bit of a shadow inside. So, all right click on layer 2, or control click if you are on a Mac, and I will go to layer styles, and I will add an inner shadow. This kind of creates a neat looking effect, but I want to open my inner shadow options, and I will go ahead and increase the size. So, I get a nice soft look to the inside of my text. Now the blur is a little strong, so I will go actually change the blur radius of my fast box blur down to something like 5. So here you can still see some formation of the background video. Now to add a little bit more pop I will go ahead and right click again, and I will go to my layer styles, and I will add an outer glow. And I can collapse my inner shadow open the outer glow here. And I will go ahead and crank up the size of the outer glow. And then I will bring the opacity of that way. Way down to something like 20%. So now if I go ahead and scrap through you can see I have actually got my background video filling my text. And it is filling the text because I am using the track mat. So when everyone will play a track that just remembers you want to position the layer that has the alpha channel you want to use above the layer that you would like to use for the fill. 
then you toggle your switches and modes. And just make sure you go to the track, mat. And you can choose alpha mat. If I chose alpha inverted mat, it would actually do the inverse of what we created. So, notice now the video inside of here sharp and then everything that is outside is blurry. So, I will leave mine set to alpha mat. What you learned. Fill text with video using an alpha mat track mat create transparency on one layer based on the alpha channel from another layer one. In the timeline panel, stack the layer to determine transparency directly on top of the layer to be the fill. 2. Toggle the switches and modes button to reveal the modes and to hide the switches in the timeline panel. 3. Change the track mat switch for the fill layer to alpha mat. Make the fill text pop off the background 1. Place a duplicate of the background video layer on the bottom of the layer stack. 2. Apply and adjust the fast box blur effect to the fill layer, so that the video in the text is blurry. 3. Right-click the fill layer, add the inner shadow and outer glow layer styles, and adjust as desired. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.